Hey guys, I'm so excited that I finally get to show you some of the CS5 stuff. And what I'm going to do over the next few weeks is record some of my favorite fe new features as tutorial videos. So you can have a look at what I think is really cool. And I'm going to start right here. If you're working in magazine um, on magazine layouts or newspaper layouts and you've had to put these articles together, you know how hard it's been to have a heading that needs to span across all of the columns. You'd have to really pull that out as a separate object and if you had a separate intro paragraph you'd also had to pull that out as a separate object. And you could sort of make them sort of uh, relate to each other by maybe building anchored objects and stuff like that but it was still a pain if you had to make changes and what have you. And it would just take a little bit of time to put an article like this on the page. Well let's jump to CS5 and have a look at how much faster we can put an article like this together. First of all, I've already created some paragraph styles here called Heading 1, which is going to be applied to the first heading, and then the Intro para, which will be applied to that double column Intro para. And if I do this right, and I'll just edit that Heading 1 first of all, I'll make the next paragraph style here to be the paragraph intro and I think I've already made it so that after the paragraph intro the paragraph first text will start. Uh, what does that mean? That I can very quickly highlight all of that text, right click my heading one and apply heading one then a next style. Well this is something you've been able to do in, in CS4 as well. I can hear you say that. Yeah. True. The other thing that I've done here, if I go to the text frame options, I've enabled the fixed column width option. What does that do? Well, it means that if I drag this text column past the sort of the, the boundary of the fourth column, it will automatically add more columns. If I push it to the to the left, you'll see that it will automatically increase the number of columns. So think about that when you're uh, when you're building. Your, your newspapers and your magazines. So what do we want to do now? Well, I would love to be able to span this particular heading across all columns. And come on, have a look at this. Here, right there, we can now span selected headings across all columns. I'm going to do that. I'm going to zoom out again. Look at that. And you're thinking, well, hang on, I need some more. Can you have some space after it? It's, it's too close together. Well, let's option or alt click on span columns and you can hear the excitement in my voice because this is just super cool. And we're just, just going to set a 5 mil um, space after the span. So that will actually push the next content down a little bit. I just think this is amazing. Let's click OK. I've got tears in my eyes, guys. This is so cool. Uh, yeah, I know, you're thinking I'm kind of sad, but you know, this is the stuff that I really like, so here you go, I'm bringing it to you. So, now, notice that there's a little plus in the paragraph style that indicates that we've made some changes um, to the style. There's a style overwrite. Well, yes, we can right-click and redefine that style, and from now on, whenever I apply heading one, it's going to span across all columns. We can see that right here in the paragraph style options, there's the span columns setting, so you can always go and edit that. How cool is that? Okay, let's do the same for this intro para. Now, in this intro para, I'm going to assume that this large heading also always goes together with an article that it has that has multiple columns, at least two columns, and I want the intro para to always span across two columns. There you go. It's done. I'll redefine the style. Actually, we'll set a little bit of space um, after as well and just see that it works a little bit better and we'll redefine this again. Now, to get to the really, really cool stuff, well, I've shown you the CS5 really super duper cool stuff, but what if you turn all of this into an object style? So let's create a new object style and we'll call it heading one article multi article with intro and I'm going to pick up here the paragraph styles that's going to start with heading one then apply the next style and the other thing that we'll pick up is the basic text frame options so that we have that fixed 
column width as well. And you can switch some other things on for, for fill and stroke and what have you, but I think I've just about got this here all okay. So let me select all of this text and just turn that back to no paragraph style. Article comes in, you place it, you hit the object style and everything's done. Now, come on guys, that is that is working so much faster and what about precision? Yeah, you're working with a lot more precision and really you can start to focus on your on your designs much more. You don't have to be so concerned with how I'm going to put this on the page. InDesign does the job for you with a single click of a mouse button. I just think this is absolutely awesome. This, guys, is my most favorite feature in the CS5 release and I wanted to bring it to you guys first. Enjoy CS5!